You know, I don't understand why people are saying Valentina's going to run through Tyler Santos. I just don't see it. Look, on paper, Valentina is the best. Second best female fighter in the world, aside from Amanda Nunes and Juliana Pena, whatever you want to say. But Santos actually has a legitimate chance of winning this fight. You know, Valentina's best weapons have been stand up. And they say, well, Tyler's a good stand up fighter, so she's going to have to win this fight standing. Yes and no. <clears throat> Excuse me. From what I've seen in her highlights and her record, she's got good head kicks. She's got big hands. And her chances really are to stand if she needs to. Pull her into the clinch and use the Muay Thai. Use those knees. Use some elbows. Roughing up Valentina on the feet. Make Valentina understand that, hey, I'm in a fight standing up. That's what I would do if I was Tyler Santos. Uh, Santos, again, really good Muay Thai. Her knees are devastating. Knees to the head. Knees to the body. Especially those. And in this fight in particular, I wouldn't really use the knees to the body. I'd probably make sure I throw kicks to the body and land with my shin. Just to throw off <coughs> Valentina a little bit. So she's not using knees. She's using that. And then that'll make Valentina have to defend that more often. And it'll leave it open for the elbows and the knees. And just tie clinch. Neutralize Valentina's stand-up game. And it, again, she has really good takedowns from what I've seen in her highlights. She can wrestle. I think she only has two or three submissions. But she's 19 and 1. Early in her career, she's had like 10 knockouts. <clears throat> so she hasn't really had to use it. So that tells me she's a really good fighter as an MMA fighter. She's very well-rounded. That's what that means. And she can go to distance. She has cardio. So, you know she's going to be in shape for this fight. But again, good tight clinch. Knees, elbows. Big, don't give Valentina space to strike because that's where she'll be messing up at. And the thing is, she's never been knocked out. So, she has a chance of not getting knocked out in this fight from that alone. And, and again, a Muay Thai fighter. You, your chances of standing are good with anybody. You know? Again, taking her to the ground. Neutralize her <clears throat> with some... Um, Arm control, body control, um, make Valentina carry you on her chest to chest like with Frank Mir and, and uh, Brock Lesnar in the rematch in the second fight they had. Frank Mir got a little bit tired. He wasn't gassed, but he didn't have the same energy he did to start the fight come second round when he was landing big shots on the feet. The few he landed because he was tired. He was carrying Brock Lesnar. And I know Tyler is not a big, a big person, but Valentina is not big either. Anytime you're carrying somebody on your chest or anything, you're going to get a little tired, right? So that's going to affect you as a striker. So she needs to be patient with Valentina. She needs to be patient. She needs to pick her shots. She needs to be okay with this going the distance. If she can use the wrestling, use takedowns, leg sweeps when she has her in the clinch, good tie clinch. I emphasize the clinch because the clinch is how she's going to have to neutralize Valentina. You're getting elbows to the head, knees and kicks to the body, stomp the feet, pull a Usman Masvidal, step on the feet, do what you got to do to neutralize her, make her not want to break free and stand up with you, take downs, ground control, pick her apart with ground and pound, do minimal movement. You don't want to gas yourself out either, okay, if you're Tyler Santos. But that's what you need to do. You need to control the fight on the ground. Take her to the ground, which she can do. And I know Valentina's been dominant, but she's been beat already by Amanda Nunes twice. But that's pretty much it, you know. But again, anybody can be beat on any given day. That's why I like MMA. And the thing is, Tyler's not a one-dimensional fighter. She can grapple. She can submit people too, as we saw in her last fight. She has good cardio. Her stand-up, her Muay Thai, everything's really good. So she has a good of a chance winning this fight as anybody. And again, she's aggressive but she's kind of calculated if you look at her fights just because somebody wins decisions doesn't mean they don't hit hard doesn't mean they can't knock somebody out doesn't mean they can't finish you they are looking for ways to control the fight and win the fight because sometimes it's not about being flashy sometimes it's not about <clears throat> looking for like the highlight knockout or submission sometimes you got to stick to the game plan like Benil Daruish said about when he fought Ferguson you know, I think she has the advantage in grappling. I think she has the advantage in looking for submissions in this fight. And if she can neutralize the distance and use the tight clinch to neutralize Valentina's striking, she has the advantage there too. You know, and, and this is to say, I know Valentina's not going to take this fight lightly. I know she's going to take it seriously because now she has a chance to really say she's the best female fighter in the world now that Amanda has lost. So that's her chance to do it. I just have a funny feeling about this fight. That's just how I feel about it. I'm calling it right now. I think Tyler will dominate this fight with wrestling, good dominant positioning. She'll neutralize Valentina's ability to strike and land head kicks with a clinch. And she's going to make Valentina frustrated. She's going to make her fight Tyler Santos's fight the whole night. I don't think she'll dominate every round, probably all of them except one. 
I think Valentina will have a good first round. But after that, Tyler will settle down into the fight and control the fight with her wrestling. She'll go for submissions. She'll use some ground and pound. She won't be explosive when she's on the ground, but she'll do something to keep the referee from keeping the fight standing. And again, if they stand, she's going to get face-to-face -face and clinch her and hit her. Keep her close. Keep her from doing as much damage as she wants to do. If she can do that, I believe she can win this fight. 49-46 is something that I see. Maybe 48-47, but it shouldn't be a one-sided fight. Valentina's not getting a knockout in this fight, and that's it.